In this video, we are going to be trying one of the most hyped up G Fuel flavors ever. The G Fuel community, I don't think there's actually been another flavor that's been as talked about as this one. The flavor that I am talking about is, of course, this one here, Mango Lemonade. I've had this tub for about a month, about two months, and I haven't opened it yet just so I could get my initial thoughts on camera. And just before we actually continue on with the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to who this flavor is inspired by. You probably know already, but if you didn't, this flavor was actually inspired by Shock or Electric Shock or Reed, however you uh, however you know him by. Just want to quickly say before I give this one a go, massive, massive well done for getting this flavor. It's been a long time coming. I think this is the exact flavor that you wanted as well. So massive well done to you, man. I'd probably say out of almost all of the creators so far, this one's probably the most well deserved. So again, well done, man, for getting this flavor through. Absolutely awesome job. And I am very excited to give this one a go. Mango, as you know, on the channel, I really like the mango flavors and the lemonade flavors. I do also really like as well. So I'm hoping I got some high expectations for this one. I've heard it's a very good flavor. So. Without further ado, let's get straight on with the review. So first of all, just look at the tub. There is a lot going on in the design on this one. You've got mangoes and you've got lemons and you've got the water effect as well. I don't know what it is, but I really do like the look of how G Fuel do the lemon design on their tubs. For example, on this one here, on Shiny Splash, there's also the lemons on Shiny Splash. And I don't know, I just really like the way how they do it. I, I know it sounds really weird, but they just look really cool. You can see at the top by here, it says inspired by shock. And then you've also got the mango lemonade in like the orange outline font by there. But yeah, the tub does look good. And I really like the orange background as well. There's just something about that that just works really well with the other colors, probably because it's supposed to replicate the mango, but it does look very nice. I'm not too sure about this, but I know that uh, the electric shock did try and push for a flavor without any artificial colors i'm not too sure if that's true or not but if that is the case it does let you know by there as well and just talking about that actually here is a quick little look at the nutritional information by there you've got all the stuff that goes into making this flavor so that does it for the tub design i do really like the look of it it's very nice and it definitely goes well with shiny splash i'll probably have these two tubs next to each other okay let's see if i can do a clean break by here it's been a while since i've opened any new g fuel tubs and uh i think we got it we're about to find out i'm not very good at doing this i know that electric shop does it and it looks very easy on the camera but i always struggle to do it for some reason okay i think we got it yes we did Nice, so the label is gonna stay intact with the bit on the top. Right, let's open this up and let's get a quick smell of the powder. Ooh, and the scooper is on top as well. I think out of like the last six tubs I've had, every single one of the scoops has been at the top. Right, okay, let's get a smell of the powder quickly. Okay, it's... I think I can only smell a mango smell in here. I'm not getting too much of the lemon. Right, so that is it for the smell test. Let's get mm -hmm. our shaker cup with our ice cubes and let's fill this up with 500 milliliters of water really quick. Just like that. All right, and let's rip the little funnel thing off the top of the scoop because we don't need that. Let's get one full scoop of the powder here. All right, let's make sure we got enough powder in there just so we can get the, the full effect of the flavor. And let's put this one in. All right, okay, so I imagine when I shake this up, it's gonna go a orange color. Let's find out. Hmm. Kind of. It's more like a, a much lighter version of peach rings. Yeah, it's like a very light orange. I'm not sure how well the camera picks that up. But yeah, it's a very light orange, this one. I know it did say that there is no artificial colours in here, and that's quite weird because I actually get a similar vibe to Kiwi Strawberry, which is also free from artificial colours. And they're both really light on the colouring for them. Okay, that should be shaken up enough. Let's open up the lid and let's get a smell test of this one. 
Okay. Okay, that is interesting. Yeah, again, I am getting the mango in there, but there's now something else in here, which does give it more of a lemonade smell. Yeah, based off the smell, I'm probably saying it's like a 60% mango and then like a 40% lemonade. Right, let's get our first thoughts on mango lemonade. Oh, wow. Wow, that is refreshing. Wow, what a nice flavor. Okay, so initial thoughts on this one. It's actually quite light. I feel. I was expecting this one to be like a mango version of Shiny Splash where it's like 75% of a lemonade and then like a 25% of a blueberry. Whereas I'd probably say with mango lemonade, it's actually the opposite where you get a 75% of the mango, which is more like a, a real juice mango. And then you get like a 25% of a lemonade and the lemonade from this one you get towards the aftertaste like when you initially drink it you definitely know that you are drinking a mango almost like a mango juice drink with like a tiny little bit of the lemonade at the end yeah good job to g fuel for this one they didn't overdo it sometimes mango flavors can have almost like a kind of soapy taste to it whereas this one they've done a very good job if i can describe this to something that you might have tried in real life this actually tastes like a melted down version of these like ice pop things. It tastes like the mango version of that if you were to melt it down. For my initial thoughts on this one, I am very impressed, to be honest. I've seen a few little criticisms from people saying that the lemonade in this one isn't as strong as Shiny Splash and, and Hype Sauce, but I don't know. I feel like it works quite well with this one because you've got the mango in there, which you can definitely taste. And then there's just that kind of smooth aftertaste of the lemonade, which just works really well, I think, for this one. This is definitely a refreshing flavor. It is also quite light as well. So I feel like you could probably have this all year round. It's also a very refreshing summer flavor as well. I feel like the more ice cubes that you put in here and the colder you have this flavor, the better that it actually is. Yeah, I can definitely see myself drinking that on a hot summer day more than any other time of the year. Like I did just say though, it is quite light. So I do feel like you probably could have this all year round, but I would probably say that this is mainly a summer day flavor just because of how refreshing that it is. Right, so in terms of a rating, what would I rate mango lemonade out of 10? So my first thoughts on this flavor, um, what was going through my brain whilst I first had it. I did think that it was very refreshing. I did then think it was quite light. And then my third kind of thought was that it is a very nice flavor, but I don't know. I wasn't like blown away with it. Whereas with some other flavors, like for example, the juice, that absolutely blew me away. And uh, peach rings as well. That was another really good flavor. But this is a very, very solid flavor. If you are new to G Fuel, I would probably say if you're looking for a summertime flavor, I know there's a summertime buy one getting free coming up soon. Uh, if this one is in here, I would probably recommend picking it up. So what would I rate this one out of 10? Um, just because I feel like this is mainly a summer day flavor, I can't give it a perfect score of 10. However, it is a very nice flavor. It's quite light, which if you have been watching the channel, you know that I do like the lighter flavors more than the stronger ones. I like the mango flavors and I also like the lemonade flavors, so I could be slightly biased here, but it's a great flavor. I'm gonna rate this one a nine out of 10. If I was to rank this one in my tier list, I'd probably say it goes close to, I'd probably say it does come very close to kiwi strawberry. That's probably where I would put this one around is similar to that. So guys, that is gonna do it for this review of the mango lemonade flavor or electric shocks flavor if you guys aren't subscribed to him already then please do go down and give reed or electric shock a subscribe because he does make g fuel videos just like this one. Oh yeah and don't forget to subscribe to me as well because i also make g fuel review videos again huge shout out to reed or electric shock for finally getting this flavor they did a really good job of this one and i'm very glad that it turned out exactly the way that you wanted it to and i'm just now having like the aftertaste of this one and i'm definitely getting more of a lemonade 
now that I'm having the aftertaste of it. Remember guys, if you did enjoy this video at any point, then please do drop a like. Remember, it is free and it only takes about two seconds and it really does help me out on the channel. It just lets me know that you guys like these type of videos and I'll continue to do them. And also don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with weekly G Fuel and sneak review videos. And with that said, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.